The YRC setting mobile app has been updated for 2018 to include settings for the new quick shift system for downshifting on 2018 and later R1s and R1Ms, and updated for the Olane's electronic racing suspension system objective-based tuning interface on 2018 and later R1M. The YRC setting app now works with all model years of R1 and R1Ms from 2015 to current. The mobile app is a copy of the YRC setting menu on your bike, with the ability to save up to 100 different setting configurations. Refer to your owner's manual for complete information on the YRC system for your model. When you first open the YRC setting app, the machine select screen is initially blank. Tap the plus sign and select the correct year model. You can edit the name. On Android, tap and hold brings up the edit or delete option. On iOS devices, touch and swipe left. Select edit, then enter the desired name for the unit. The name field is free text and will hold about 80 characters. Even emojis are allowed. Tap the bike entry to open the YRC view screen. This YRC view screen is a replica of the YRC setting screen on your bike's instrument panel. To edit the four preset modes in the app, tap the entry to select, then tap the desired setting. You may need to scroll up or down on some of the fields to see all available settings. The traction control system cannot be turned off with the app. Refer to your owner's manual for details. Corner and acceleration support are only available in Track 1 and Track 2 modes. To adjust the suspension manual settings, you must select M1, 2, or 3 on the YRC view screen. Refer to your owner's manual for a description of each YRC and ERS setting, the range of adjustment, and how each one affects the bike. The factory default setting for each YRC mode is indicated by this gray shading in the app and on the instrument panel, so you can easily reset it or quickly check your setting selection against the default from the factory. The factory default settings for all modes in the electronic racing suspension system are indicated with these arrows in the app and on the instrument panel. You can edit the default name for each of the four preset modes on both Android and iOS devices, select the field, then tap and hold on each name. Choose Edit. You can only enter three characters, any combination of uppercase letters, the number 0 through 9, and the hyphen. Choosing default value resets the name to the original mode A through D. This only resets the name of the mode. It does not reset the factory default settings for the mode. The right arrow displays the ERS screen on R1Ms and the left arrow returns to the YRC view from the ERS screen. This up arrow is the send button, which will connect to the bike and upload the four mode settings from the app to the bike. The down arrow is the reload button, which downloads the current settings from the bike to the app. When you send from the app to the bike, you'll be sending all four modes, whether you change them or not. If you made changes to any setting in any of the four modes using the YRC menu on the bike, they will be overwritten when you send from the app to the bike. Same for reload. When you download from the bike to the app, you'll be overriding the four modes in the YRC view of the app. An important note, do not download the settings from the bike to the app when the traction control system is turned off. The app will not send back to the bike until the app and the bike have been reset. To reset it, on the bike, turn TCS on, reset the default modes, and then reload from the bike to the app again. To save a particular setting configuration from possibly being overwritten, maybe a setting you really wanted to save for a particular racetrack, you can use the List View mode in the app. Tap the View Selection button and choose List View. In List View, you can have up to 100 different setting configurations saved, and each configuration can have up to 80 characters in the title. You could save information such as tire and gearing info, track location, weather conditions, or date for each configuration. To create a new configuration, you can import your current settings from mode A, B, C, or D from the YRC view screen to use as a starting point. Tap the import button and select the mode you want. Tapping the plus sign imports a copy of the factory default settings from mode A. To edit each YRC setting and the suspension settings on the R1Ms, tap to select the field, then scroll up or down to select the setting you want. Again, be sure to refer to your owner's manual for details on each setting. To change the title and add your setup notes, on Android devices, use a quick tap on the blank title field. On iOS, use a long tap on the title field. 
To upload any of these saved configurations to the bike, they must be exported to the YRC view screen in the app. On Android, tap and hold brings up a menu. On iOS, scroll all the way to the end of the line, release, then touch and swipe left. Using this menu, you can delete the entry, make a copy of it, which will be added as a new entry in the list view, or export the settings to one of the mode entries on the YRC view screen. Select mode A through D. The title name will not be exported, just the settings. On R1Ms, as a double check in case you make suspension setting changes, you'll be prompted to confirm that you might be affecting one of the other modes that also use that suspension preset. For example, the factory default setting for both mode A and B use the Track 2 suspension factory preset. If you possibly edited T2 in the list view and export it to mode A, you'll also be changing the suspension settings for mode B. This screen just confirms you wish to do this. Tap OK to confirm the export. To upload, connect to the Wi-Fi on the bike. The network name will be Yamaha Motor CCU, followed by the last six characters of the MAC address on the CCU. The password is the serial number on the CCU, including the leading zeros. You must log on to the CCU Wi-Fi to upload YRC setting changes. It is not possible for a smartphone or tablet to access the YRC settings on the bike unless it's connected to the CCU Wi-Fi with the password. On some devices, the network entry might say connected no internet or no internet connection. This is correct. You're connected to the bike, but not to the internet. From the YRC view screen, tap the upload icon. The shift indicator on the instrument panel flashes, confirming the settings were received. Now the app will not change the current mode selection on the instrument panel. For example, if the instrument panel shows mode A as the current mode selected, and you edit mode B and upload to the bike, you must use the mode select switch on the left handlebar to choose mode B as the current mode. Thanks for watching.